Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Armored Battle Crew World War I. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 20 bucks. I stress Early Access, that means the game is still under development, and as such, everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. So this game, based on my experience so far, is pretty similar to Bomber Crew. In Bomber Crew, you got to manage an airplane, mainly a bomber, that had to go out and do various missions. As you did these missions, you could improve your plane, you could level up your people so as long as you could keep them alive, and so on. Well, this takes you into the role of a tank, and you'll be doing much the same thing. So here's a look at the main menu. There is Tutorial, Garage, Encyclopedia, which is coming soon, Options menu. Under that, under the General tab, you've got Language and Mouse Sensitivity, Graphic, Quality, Resolution, Full Screen, and V-Sync, Audio, Sliders, Master, Sound, and Music. I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent any sort of copyright issues. I will say the music is rather repetitive, so you may want to turn it off anyway until they actually add a bit more music to the game. And then controls, um, WASD, typical, moving around, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a go. Um, before we jump into an actual match, it's probably important to take a look at the garage. The garage is where you're going to be spending a lot of your time in between missions. Um, what's cool about this is that you can either do um, a pre-scripted campaign mission or you can jump into like a skirmish of sorts. Um, so on the very top you've got the garage tab and on the very bottom you can see the different tanks that you have available to you. There's for example the Mark V male, the Mark V female, and the Mark V composite. And if you take a look on the right hand side you'll see some differences. Uh, most notably uh, the female tank here has no hard, uh, like, anti-tank turret. <laughs> so if you're up against tanks with this female, it's going to be rather difficult to take anything down, at least tank-wise. But you'll be able to wipe out infantry like no one's business. Luckily, you can customize these loadouts, too. If I go to Create New, for example, I can create a different chassis if I want, different loadout. And then if I go to the Arsenal tab along the top, you'll see all the different guns that you can equip to your actual tank. So um, I'm holding in middle mouse right now to rotate the camera. I can click on, uh, you know, various hard ports and switch things out as I want to, which is kind of cool. Like, for example, uh, I clicked on this one over here. I've got this Hotchkiss Mark I machine gun. There's some other ones that I've yet to unlock. And there is a persistent tech tree in this game, too. So as you play, no matter whether it's the campaign or the skirmish mode, you're going to be getting these experience points, and you can use those experience points to unlock new stuff. So that's pretty cool, I like that. Uh, the barracks, this is where you can go to uh, level up your people. Uh, here's Albert, for example. I could rename him if I wanted to. Um, show specialization as they level up. You can switch them out between different specialties. Like, for example, right now he's got the health bonus, plus 50 health, and the power to the tracks boost. Uh, if I wanted to, I can switch him over to Strong Back, which is plus 25% movement speed when carrying any item, um, you know, so on and so forth. So as they level up, you can choose one of two things. Kind of like XCOM, kind of, sort of. Anyway, so come here to Customize People, Armor. Um, this is where you can sort of, well, mess with your armor. You've got Default Armor, but I could unlock Light, Medium, Spaced, and Heavy. Um, and along with, you know, other things like right rear armor, top armor. I can assign a lot of different armors to various parts of my tank. You can see I'm cycling through the different ones. Again, I haven't really played all that much, so I haven't unlocked a whole lot. And then there's paint jobs. If you want to mess with paint jobs, you can. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to actually equip the mail real quick. I, I prefer this one just because it does have the, the, the six pounder cannons that the female doesn't have. Um, and if I go to tech... Um, and then I click on, say, the mail that I equipped here. You'll notice that um, along the bottom of each tank, you'll see a percentage and uh, an XP amount. So you have to play with certain tanks in order to level them up specifically. So I can't just play as the mail chassis and then level up my female and composite without doing anything with them. No, I've got to play with these particular tanks in order to actually level them up. So I'm going to click on the mail real quick. And I've, I've completed one skirmish, if you will, 
uh, off camera, and I earned some experience doing that. So I could spend some XP right now on the light armor. Uh, I might want to consider doing that. Uh, confirm. And you'll notice there's some other things I could unlock, like there's mobility upgrades, technology, uh, firepower, uh, Britain needs you. <laughs> okay, whatever that is. Um, and we'll just close that out. Okay, and if we go back to armor, we should, in theory, be able to equip these. Yeah, there we go. So you'll notice along the bottom that there's, yeah, so this is, this light armor is going to weigh me down a lot more. Um, so I'm probably going to want to choose, okay, where am I going to get hit the most out of everything? Probably the sides, I would imagine. That's the largest profile that I have. So I think I'm going to want to switch over to, oh, there's left front. Okay. You know, this will affect my speed somewhat. You'll notice along the top, the bottom right, it says top speed modifier, and then in red, a minus 0 0.04. So as I upgrade my tank uh, with better armor, it's going to weigh me down a bit more. I'm not going to be able to do as much. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm not, I want to equip them all. Okay. So, yeah. All right. I, I think, I think that's good. Top armor, I'm not too concerned with. Front armor, maybe? See, if I'm going to be battling tanks, my pounders are on the left side. I've only got a machine gun out the front. So if I do come across an enemy tank in this chassis, I'm going to want to go around, uh, just basically present my side anyway, so that my pounders can shoot. So I don't think I need the front armor for that. Bottom armor, okay, I think we're good there. Again, I showed you the paint jobs already. Tech showed you that already. Okay, so let's just actually jump into a match now. Um, we'll hit the battle button here. And there's campaign. And to show you what is available, there's looks like there's four missions in the first, I guess. Well, I guess there's four missions in the first battle, Battle of Hamel. And then Battle of Amiens, uh, which is another four missions. And then the Battle of FC, F. Epahi, whatever, and that's two missions. So there's there's some pre-scripted ones, but uh, what I messed with was the custom battle. There's also a playground, test your vehicle at the driving range, and the tutorial. Um, we're just going to jump in the custom battle. I like this one. Um, so you can choose between easy, medium, and hard difficulties. There's You can choose your spawn point, time of day, objectives, like just random, destroy artillery, uh, destroy plane... Uh, destroy barbed wires as my second objective, and you're just trying to earn points, basically. And you can choose your map. There's Trench, Hamel Village, and Amiens Railway. So I'm just going to do, um, let's do, let's try the railway, just, just to try it. Um, I, I didn't do this one yet. I did the trench. So on this map that we're going to be seeing, there's these stars. Uh, those are like command points that you can capture. You're going to be spending command points to call in artillery and other special abilities. The A and B are capture points. That's how you earn the bulk of your points. The little wrenches are repair nodes. So if you just go there and over time your tank will repair, get fuel, that kind of thing. All right, let's go blow some stuff up. The infantry will be launching an attack on point A and B in 15 minutes from your position. Clear the path for our infantry. Enemy artillery spotted at the edge of the map. Seek and destroy. Barbed wires will slow down our infantry. Crush them. Okay. So if you've ever played Bomber Crew, um, basically you've got all these different guys and you can assign them to different jobs. Um, right now they're not assigned to anything. So I'm just going to assign these guys to the different guns here. Um, clicking on a guy will allow me to activate their special ability at that station. There we go. There's that. Now there's an engine here and there's a radio station where you can call in special abilities like mortars or heavy riflemen to, uh, well, you could use command points to call these things in, give yourself a bonus of some sort. Um, again, you can also click on the crew members via the left-hand side. Like, I, I can click on this floret, 
and now I'll be going faster for a short period of time. It doesn't seem like it because I'm in a tank, but, you know. Now, your, your guns will run out of ammo over time. You can set the auto fire mode like auto or burst. You can set the safety... You, uh, you can set the safety on or off. Uh, target infantry hard, which is like tanks, soft, or air. Um, there we go. So I just captured a command point there. Mini map is in the bottom right. So I guess we'll head to A. Now your people will automatically shoot, so as long as you're in range. And an arc. All right, so we're supposed to crush these things. I guess we'll do that. Wow, we're getting nailed. Fortify position. Might as well pop everything. Combat reload. Morphine time. Health to all crew members. I'll take it. Okay, so in order to reload, you actually have to click on a crew member, click on one of these ammo supply closets, and then bring the ammo back. That's one thing I don't like. If you pick up the ammo from the cabinet, you actually have to right-click on the gun that you were just at, so it's annoying. I, I, I wish that the crew member would just automatically go back to his assigned station, but that's just me. Oh, come on, shoot him already. Right. There you go. Alright, so we cannot actually capture point A or point B with our tank. We actually have to call in the our, the infantry. I believe that happens automatically. Oh, we got a tank incoming. Side profile. Again, reason I'm doing that, because my pounder is on this side. Maybe we'll do this. It's possible to... Sh yep, see, the shots, I think, just bounced off there, so we want to present, like, a, an angle if we can. Alright. Um, I guess we'll just keep capturing some command points. We'll just go around doing that. Um, right now, in order to call in infantry, at least bonus infantry, um, I have to have, I think, 600 command points. The number of command points you have is on the very top middle there. Alright, so again, we're just destroying these. We're we'll have to destroy these barbed wire. Ten more to go. Top left-hand corner, is, or top right-hand corner, rather, your health and your fuel. Your fuel will go down over time automatically, even if you're standing still. So you need to get to those wrench icons, if at all possible, to uh, get more ammo. These these shelves here, these these cabinets full of ammo, they will turn colors as well, meaning that they're running out of ammo. So at some point, you'll want to make your way over to them as well. Right now, I think we're okay, but I'm just saying, in the future, when these start running low on ammo, you can click on a med kit, 10 out of 10, light box ammo, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 5 out of 5. So yeah, we're fine there, for a little while anyway. I guess we'll capture this for some more command points. Note the little green circle filling up there around the point, letting me know that I'm capturing it. Alright, there we go. We may want to stop here for some fuel after after this here. All right. 
Yep, getting low on fuel. Oh. There's some smoke in the distance. That can't be good. Oh, yeah. That's what that is. Okay. And basically, you'll see a little circle fill up there in the middle of the point. Just let that keep... Just let that... As, the longer you can let that cycle, the more fuel and the more ammo that you get. Uh-oh. This is getting a little low, so I have to reload that. All right, we'll cycle that one more time. This is going to get nasty. We may want to mortar that position. Alright. Um, artillery? Mortar. Okay. Uh, we're going to mortar this position there. should help out a little bit. There it goes. Oh, nice. Got him. Red means they're completely out of ammo. Try not to let that happen like I just did. And again, our main goal here is just to clear the way for our infantry, who will be coming at some point. Come on, tank. <laughs> Get up there, you know you can't. Aww. Oh. Almost had it. Oh, we got a fire. Luckily, there's a crew member already on that station, so no big no big deal there. All right, let's just keep moving. Uh, we're going to try and knock down more of these barbed wires and just kill more stuff. Right, we're going to reload there. I have to destroy one more barbed wire if I can get to it. Come on. There you go. Another command point here. Take it. Now, as far as the enemy, they just seem to keep coming and coming, and it's it's like there's no there's no end to them. Alright, 
Let's call in some heavy infantry if we can. Heavy rifleman squad. Yep, let's do that. And we'll call it to B since we're already there. Now we just need to hold the line here. can bring up the map with M. Note there's little blue dots approaching my position. Now they will they will fire and kill other enemy troops. Oh, there we go. We're starting to capture it. Looking good. Um, I think we should go A while we've got this under control. I think we have to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, if those guys can hold the line, that would be awesome. That was a smoke launcher. That was my doing. All right, I think we're good to move up. I think we need to get some repairs done here. I think let's make a detour to that repair area over there. Can we get over there? Now, we can use our command points to call in a supply drop as well, if we had to. But I try to save my points for those infantry units, since they're the only ones that can capture those command points. Alright, so now our infantry is attacking the command points. We'll head on over there in a minute. We're okay. All 
All right, looks like the enemy is recapturing point B. Not good. Yeah, those are friendlies. We don't... I don't think we can actually kill them, but I don't want to take the chance. Out of my way, guys. Move it. I may have just killed him. I'm not sure. <laughs> Some tank commander I am, I know. Oh, we got B back, and we're capturing A. That is awesome. Alright, morphine time. Let's heal everybody. Oh, it looks like all the infantry in our area just fell. Not good. Well, we can hang out here for a little while. I mean, we are earning points now that we've got B. Uh, we can also, once we get to 600 command points, we can call in another heavy rifleman squad. See if that does the trick. In the meantime, um, let's just... Maybe we'll head over there and get some more repairing done. Basically, you're just trying to earn your 500 points before the time runs out. I've got 12 more minutes to do so, so I'm more than halfway there already, which is a good sign. Wow, busy. That's good. Oh, nice. We've got A now, too. That's beautiful. Oh, that <laughs> had to hurt. Yep, yeah, there they are. We got some friendly units there. All right, so looking at our map. Um, actually, you know what? Let's look at this map. Uh, shell a target a position with smoke rounds, mortar. I can only use each of these so many times. Uh, the small supply drop appears to be unlimited, but I, my, I have one more use of this heavy rifleman squad. I've got two uses of this mortar, 15 artillery smoke. I'm tempted just to go along the outside of the map and maybe look for those, uh, artillery, artillery, uh, stations or whatever they're called. I guess we'll grab this. Might as well. We're here. Oh yeah, look at that. We're up to 487. Nice. Yep. So we reached our 500 and then we're just going to keep playing now until that time runs out. And then we'll see how much experience we've earned and so on. I guess for now we'll just travel the outside of the map and... We'll take back points as we need to, but I'm, I'm on the lookout for that artillery.
Lots of stuff going on over there. Alright, let's go ahead and use our floored ability. Again, the floored ability on a tank. I mean, you're still not going to go very fast. But, still. The power to tracks just allows you to turn faster. That's all that is. In case you were curious. Alright, we're about to reach another command point. I guess we'll capture that. Why not? Healing people is pretty easy. Just select someone, bring them over to the medical cabinet, and you can even choose yourself if you want to. In fact, I'll do that. And then over time, they'll just heal. But they can't do anything while they're healing. Obviously. get up there. Looks like it. Reload you. And reload you. Wow. Everything looks good here, though. Besides the artillery shells, everything looks good. Oh, so the artillery must be in this direction. I, I just saw the shot come from this way, so let's let's head over there. Punch a chewy. Nothing bad could possibly happen. Oh, enemy tank. You know, I'm gonna go and call in another squad. Um, we'll send it to A, just because we're further away from it. If anything were to happen to it, um, if anything were to happen to it, getting to it would be a lot more difficult. Come on, reload, reload, reload. There we go. Yeah, I've got my combat reload ability active. I reload faster. That's all. There we go. Nice. Can we make... It's not going to let me through, is it? Push. Push. <laughs> I'm, I'm glitching into an area that I shouldn't be in. Somehow I'm shooting through... Yeah, I, I definitely should not be here. Alright, well let's reload. Alright, 
There we go. Looks like I did destroy that artillery somehow, so... I don't know where it was, but we destroyed it. I guess we'll head back in toward... Point B. Three minutes to go. Oh, I guess I should have. It's one again. It's one thing I don't like. Whenever you tell them to reload, they don't automatically go back to their assigned station. It's very annoying. I don't think they'll be messing with us at this point. We've got over 1,200 points. This artillery had one job. To take out this little red dot on my mini-map, and it did not happen. Can't see me now. Oh, tank. This is the worst position. <laughs> this is the worst. Floor it. Might as well pop everything. We got 30 seconds left anyway. Oh, they are retaking B, well we can't let that happen. Again, only 20 seconds, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, we got it. Okay. Victory! Alright, so we got 1,450 points out of the 500 necessary. Let's go back to the garage. Okay, so we've earned some more experience. As you can see, some of our people leveled up a bit. Uh, you can see our points on the left-hand side. Not too bad. All right, so basically rinse and repeat. Um, use the experience points I earned to unlock more tech, and then I can use that tech to basically equip, better equip my tanks, and I can keep going back in and doing that as much as I want to. So far, it's not bad. I mean, it's still early access. There's still some things that are eh, but for the most part, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's the... If you liked Bomber Crew, then more than likely you'll like this one too. Just be warned that it's not as fleshed out and polished as Bomber Crew is currently, so... Just keep that in the back of your mind. But like I said, early access, at some point it will be, assuming that the developer doesn't abandon it as some others have done. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I'm going to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next.